All right, so I've had a few people been asking me and been wondering about my transmission setup and how I'm getting my 4L60 shift with a carburetor setup with no fancy throttle position sensor or nothing like that. Well, this this setup right here, the switch setup right here, is just the most recent setup and way I've been messing around with. And it is super simple. It makes it to where it's full manual almost. Well, actually, it is full manual. Because it runs off switches, and you can hold it to any RPM to switch it, to shift it, and it's super easy to hook up. And I kind of wish I'd done this in the first place when I first did my V8 swap. But I'm gonna go over this setup right here real quick to show you how I got it going. All right, first on y'all's transmission plugs, which right underneath here you can't really see, but. I went underneath the truck, under the hole, somewhere like right in this area. I run my transmission harness up under, up through it, so all my all the extra wires and stuff are laying underneath uh, the carpet of the truck right here. And all I did was run all my wires up right here. You see, I got you hanging. This brown wire right here is actually the torque converter solenoid. I can hook that up to a switch in series with these other two, and I can have my torque converter. But I didn't hook that up because I didn't know how well this is going to work and everything. But like I said, this is all for testing purposes. Okay, you can't really see it, but I got my power. My power is running right here. I'll start with it. Confused. I got my power running right there. Then I got my ground, my body ground right right here. I just grounded it out right there. It's as close as I'm going to find. And then I run... This green wire, which is the one two shift solenoid, and this black and yellow wire, which is a three four shift solenoid. I just run it up up through my dash here, and then through my shift linkage like my tack is, and up onto my shifter arm. And all I did was put hose clamp, a little bit of engineering, a little bit of roughed up wiring, and there it is. That's how it works. This this wire right here, the first second shift solenoid. Goes to the first switch, of course, you know, 34 6 solenoid goes to the second switch. Both of them run to the ground, right there, down to the ground. And people's like, well, well how, how does the rest of the transmission work? Like, how do, how do you put it in reverse? Does it work? Well, only thing you gotta do, start the truck, turn the truck on. That's reverse, it's always gonna be reverse, no matter what. That's neutral. Alright, and then you put it in overdrive. This right here is first, second, this is third gear. When you're gonna put it in fourth, turn the first switch back off. And usually if I had that torque converter wire hooked up, had another switch, you can flip that for your torque converter. And you can turn that on and off. However you please. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna set up it's real real simple, real easy. I hooked it up in about 30 minutes. And I took it down the road and it's working. Real good. I get the truck started running and everything, and I'll show y'all how it runs on the street. And just show y'all guys, I'm not running no fancy throttle position center, no no brackets, nothing like that. All it is my throttle cable, return spring, that's it. 625 Demon carburetor, see if you can get. It. And that's it. Turn this man boy up. Right, right up. Put it in reverse. Reverse. So we're going backwards. We're in reverse. Neutral. Overdrive. Both switches are off. So we're in first gear. So here I am pulling around in my yard.
good, even when you're kind of getting on it. Now, when it's like this, I will say it trips the, the whole transmission, the computer, and everything, and it does away with the line pressure settings. So, when it's fully wired up like that, it's full line pressure at all times, so no matter what throttle you're in, light throttle, park throttle, full throttle, it's gonna have full line pressure. So, that's neck breaking one twos right there for you okay guys made it back to the house as y'all seen that's how i drive my truck that's how i shift my truck now with the switches and stuff i know it's kind of different i know it's kind of kind of trashy to some people but heck simple dimple it gets me down the road gets me back to the house as y'all can see that's all i need cheap easy fun that's what i'm about but that's yeah that's gonna be my setup for now until i get a wild hair and trying to put some kind of shifter in this bad boy or whatever i don't like this column shifter nobody likes column shifters i was constantly i was always over shifting from second to drive or third every time and i was, it was getting on my nerves and then i come with this and i was like well if i over switch a switch unless my my thumb gets over a little bit too much that's the only way i can over shift so no more over shifting unless i over switching <laughs> but yeah that's gonna be it for this one if y'all like this video comment like subscribe do all that good stuff you know what the deal is if you got any more questions about this transmission setup hit me up in the comments and i'll try to get to back y'all quick as i can with the best advice that i can give y'all